you know, Lake Erie came in and played a good basketball game. They, you know, they shot it. Like you said, they shot it very well. Uh, they executed. They executed. Uh, did a nice job executing their offense. They they played good defense, and it was a tough game. And it was a good thing we were at home. I thought I thought statistically both teams were were pretty equal, and just happy to get that win. Uh, Ashland's a very good club. Uh, they're they're very well coached. They they have good balance. Uh, Davis is probably one of the better players in the league. He was a handful. He's been a handful for the North, you know, the all eight games. And uh, I was very pleased with our balance, you know, five guys in double figures, and the fact that that we were able to make our free throws and make some plays down the stretch and keep that separation was really good, especially going into this weekend against good, you know, Ferris and Grand Valley teams. Well, that's good. That's a good start. You know, I thought I thought we, you know, at, at the beginning when we lost those two, no, no disrespect to. Well, Walsh, we, we were still feeling our way through things, and uh, you know I think since then you know we've gotten considerably better. We've gotten better balance. We've gotten we're a better club, uh, but to be to have six in a row is a, is a good finish in the South, and you know certainly now starting in the North is going to be tough. But we got to play the same type of basketball and continue to get a little bit better each day. I'm not surprised it's this close. I think uh, that both teams that are undefeated, Saginaw and, and Ferris. Uh, both have a lot of returning people, and I'm not surprised that it's this way. Of course, Lake State's always good, and you know Hillsdale's really good. The teams that are that, that are up there, and, and that's you know you, you still talk. You still have Northern Michigan. You have uh, who else is left in the North there? Grand Valley. Grand Valley, and you know I mean goodness sakes, those are very good basketball okay. clubs. And Northern Michigan at four and four is is at the at down to lower lower for the North and. You know they're a good club, and you know of course that would be leading the South. So the the standings don't surprise me that they're this tight, and, and I do think that both divisions now are going to continue to beat up on each other. So you can't take a night off here; you're in trouble. Ferris State is is very good. Like I said, they return a lot of players, and they have a kid uh, that was that was injured last year, Chapel number five, who, who makes a big difference for them as far as athleticism and rebounding. And I know this, they crash the boards, they're averaging, four, averaging 14 offensive rebounds, and their transition game is, is, is awesome. You know, those are two areas that, that we have to really be good at just to give ourselves a chance in our own gym. So uh, Stellaker is a, a load in there as far as length defensively and offensively, and their point guards are, are, are well seasoned. I think, in fact, I think one's a senior and one's a junior now. So they don't have any weaknesses. Uh, so we gotta we gotta be ready with our systems and and, and challenge them. Yeah, it's not it doesn't get any easier on Saturday. You know, I think Grand Valley only had uh, eight losses last year and three more us. So they they want us bad, and and you know that's certainly a game that we're going to be a target for them. And and you know we gotta come in and and continue to to play our our style, our game, and not let their physicalness and their their ability to do what they do well affect us and, and stick with our systems.